Hi, and welcome back to AGB Art. In today's video, I'm going to show you an easy and inexpensive way to frame six inch square painted tiles. If you enjoy my video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be honest with you, this was not my original idea. I saw a lady doing this on YouTube probably four or five years ago. She took an Ikea Malma framed mirror and attached her tiles to it. This is the back of one. Please feel free to take a screenshot so you have the right number. Now I have found these frames on eBay pretty inexpensively, like maybe four for $20. These orangey colored ones I found at my local Goodwill for $2 a piece. I use E6000 glue. I take a tile, here's just your basic six, six inch square bathroom tile that I've painted. I did seal it. It's been sprayed with a clear varnish. Here is one of the mirrors that I haven't opened yet and it comes with hanging hardware. However, this frame is going to be quite heavy once you've attached your tile to it and I don't think that hanging hardware is going to be strong enough. So you can see there's a tiny little mirror in there and a very large wooden frame. I've taken off the plastic and showing you again the back of it. And what I do is I'll take my tile and place it on the mirror. Now I had trouble with this tile because I couldn't decide what orientation I wanted with it. So here I'm just playing and looking. If you don't like the color of the frame, they're really easy to spray paint. You don't have to prime them. You might want to sand just a little bit and wipe the grit off, but they're very easy to paint. Personally, I kind of liked this orangey brown. Once you've decided on your orientation, you could take a ruler and measure, and so you're sure to get it right in the middle. But I usually don't. I put a bead of glue closer to the mirror than the outside of the tile because I don't want any glue seeping out. And then I place the tile on top, weigh it down with a couple of books and leave it alone for probably eight hours. At that point, I will decide, mm, is this hanging hardware going to be strong enough or should I go ahead and nail on a sawtooth hanger? There are some artists who don't apply hanging hardware. That way, the person who ultimately gets the piece can decide what orientation. But I like to go ahead and put the hanger on. That just makes it easier for someone who receives the picture. I also find that it's easier to put a sawtooth hanger on than trying to drill tiny holes to get these eye bolts in the wood without ruining the frame. I went back in and laid my ruler down next to the tile to make sure that it was truly square on the frame. You probably have about 10 minutes of wiggle time with the E6000 glue. I laid the books back on top of it and I'm leaving it alone for eight hours. And here it is eight hours later. I have a gorgeous hand painted lightly sealed tile, very firmly attached to a nice wooden frame. The glue has dried completely. The tile is not coming off the frame. And I have decided to attach the sawtooth hanger like I have on the back of the black frame. I find that's a lot easier to just nail the nails directly into the wood than having to drill a small hole. So that's my plan for tomorrow is to put these 
sawtooth-like hangers into the back of the frame. I hope you enjoyed my video. You'll press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.